What's up, beautiful people? It's a beautiful Monday, dark and early. I think it's going to be beautiful. But guess what? Get started early enough. Every day is beautiful because it's dark. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to drop by some real motivation for you. Raw, right? <laughs> because this is how life is sometimes. And what I wanted to tell you is this. A lot of times your passion is the very thing that you struggle with, the very thing that you fight with, the very thing that you go back and forth with, but you have to put in that work. And sometimes it's about being real with yourself. So I'm in a fitness group here on Facebook, and it's one of those things where with my health and fitness background, it's like, you know, you always want to make sure that you're striving and you're staying on top of that. And a few years ago, my bounce back journey from a horrible motorcycle accident getting back in shape, losing over 50 pounds. Well, guess what? Yes, gain some of that weight back, but what do you have to do? You can't let any of those things, any of the trials, the setbacks, the hurdles, the obstacles stop you from where you're trying to go. So many times we are so focused on the here and now. It's great to be present. It's great to be have a mindset where we realize where we are, but we have to look at the long term when we're talking about our goals, our hopes, our dreams, our aspirations. It could take us 10, 15 years to get out of the habit of checking our finances, 10 or 15 years to get out of shape, right? 10 or 15 years to gain this weight. But when we decide we want to get better, when we decide we want to get our credit better, we want it to happen right now. I started doing it. Why is it not happening? When we decide we want to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds, oh my God, I've been working out for a whole month nothing's changed when we decide that we want to get habits we want to get some consistency oh my god it's not happening enough for us so what I want to tell you today is to make sure that your passion is not driving you in reverse because if you're so hard on yourself you're not going to make it anywhere because you're always going to be thinking about oh my god this this that this that that oh my god what am I doing paralysis of analysis you're not going to go anywhere because you're thinking about all these different things so the best thing you can do for yourself on this Monday and I want you to know this is get up, get out, get something. So I realized that might get back on your routine. You were getting up early. You were doing it. Stay with it. The best thing you could do for yourself going into 2021 is commit to consistency. Commitment to consistency will get you there. It will take you where a lot of other things won't take you. So let's do it. Murphy's Law, you are somebody. Today you are great. Tomorrow you'll be greater because Ms. Murphy said so and I concur. Know that the universe is aligned to give you everything you want, will, and work for. Three W's in that order. Want it, will it, work for it. Puzzle pieces falling out of thin air just for you. You got this. Five P's. I want you to let your power give you a passion that will pin you to your purpose. And once you plan properly, experience prosperity. That is spiritually, mentally, socially, physically, and financially. And last but not least, know that you can do that. Know that you can live Murphy's Law. Know that you can embody the three W's. You can embody the five P's. Why? Because you are the five C's, baby. You're capable, competent, confident, conscious, and courageous mm, to do any and everything that you seek to do in this life and the next. So let's get up, get out, get something, people. As always, know that God loves you, so do I. And I want you to love life, live love, peace, together, not apart. Y'all take care.